Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. I hope this finds you all well. I've got this lovely little card to share with you today. It's this cute koala. Now, as many of you know, my family, my maternal family is from South Africa. But quite a few of them have actually left South Africa now. And they've actually gone to Australia. So when I made this, I was thinking of my family that are in Australia. Isn't it cute? So, let's get started. This is the stamp set I'm going to use. It's called Wild and Sweet. You've got the little raccoon, you've got the koala, you've got, oh, look at the cute panda. It's so sweet. I had a lovely little panda teddy bear when I was a kid. I remember that. I don't know what happened to him. I might still have him in a box somewhere. I don't know, actually. Got a stamp in black ink. You do stays on. I'm using an archival ink because I can't stand the smell of stays on, as you know. But I'm looking for a permanent ink here so I can colour in with my watercolour pencils and just give it a good press down to get a good image there we go, perfect so take that out of my Stamparatus now because it is a permanent ink I'm actually going to clean this straight away to get this as much off as I can and then I'm going to give it a, a proper clean lay afterward with our uh, stays on ink and then our stamp and scrub so set that aside let's just put the stamp apparatus away put the magnet back in its little home bring this in here and I'm going to use as I said my watercolour pencils and I'm going to use this time my blender pen now I have done a video showing how I colour in with my pencils and a blender pen and I'll link that below well at the end of this video in the so you can see I'm going to use both sets of watercolour pencils and I'm just going to lay down some colour and then I'm going to blend it out with my um, blender pen so I'm going to get colouring and I'll put some music on and I'll see you at the end cut it out so let's start to assemble our card my card base is mint macaron and then I have a piece here of the heart and home designer series paper and this measures 14.35 centimeters by 10 and we're just gonna stick this down This is just a standard um, card base. So that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. So let's put that down like that. And then I have a piece here of basic white. And this measures the same measurement as the Heart and Home 14.35 by 10. And this is going to be for our insert. Just like that. Okay, and then we have our card here, and I think last time I popped it up on some dimensionals, so let me get that, get those out here. Took a few, but it did make a difference to do it. So. I'll do one more layer down here. Doesn't mind sticking them down, it's getting the backings off that drive me, drives me mental. Yeah, I think that's enough as good as a feast, as the saying goes, or whatever it says. And let's start the laborious task of taking all these blooming backings off. My pet hate in crafting is taking backings off dimensionals but there you go has to be done so 
I hope you're all enjoying yourselves and enjoying the video. If you are, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube now. It really helps. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. Um, all the information, like all the supply list and all these measurements will actually be on the blog post on my own website. And the link to that is in the description box below. So let's do some finishing touches. I'm going to use these. These are the in colour opal rounds. And I'm going to use eek just here. This pale purple colour for pale papaya. Just three of them if I can get them up. Yeah, that'll do. So there are the two cards. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, everything is in the description box below. That includes the links to all my social media links, including the link to my Facebook group, where I host a monthly online car club, where we make projects like this together via a Facebook Live once a month. And I make a kit and send it to you every month. So do check all of that out. So thank you again, and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.